this is one of those problems that you can solve either by factoring or by writing as a complex fraction. Okay, so in looking at this, if you're going to set this up as a complex fraction, okay, and I'll talk about that because that's where uh, the confusion often lies for students. In this first term, okay, we simply think of it as being over 1. So again, all I'm doing is I'm rewriting my numerator as a single fraction or as a, like each of these terms is single fraction. So in my second term here, minus, this x has a negative power associated with it, so it's gonna move that x to the bottom, or to the denominator of a fraction. And so here's what x to the negative 2 thirds looks like written as, or in that rational form. Now that's all divided by this denominator. Well, the denominator, the only base that has a negative power as well. X. So the 3 is going to stay in the numerator. The x gets moved and changed power. And now you can solve it like we've done using the rewriting the top as one single fraction. The LCD will be x to the 2 thirds. So we take 3x to the 1 third times the missing LCD factor here, which is x to the 2 thirds, which means we're adding the powers. Minus 1 times the missing LCD factor here. It's not missing anything. So when we simplify this, one-third and two-third leave us with 3x minus 1 over x to the two-third. So there's my numerator written as a single fraction. And now I can work in the denominator here as well. <coughs> the denominator is already written as a single fraction. So all I need to do is take the rewritten numerator. So here's my numerator rewritten as one fraction. And now I'm going to invert and multiply. So the 3 gets moved down below x to the two-thirds gets moved up above. <coughs> and so now you're going to uh, reduce this. The factors that cancel are here. You get a 3x minus 1 over 3. Because we cancel the factor from the denominator, you do need to pay attention to it. It cannot equal 0, so you identify that as a domain restriction. Good, sir. Can I do this with a, a, a different method? Yeah. right here. If, you, if you're thinking about canceling here, <coughs> you need to uh, think about it in terms of that divisor of 3 applies to both individually. So you could, you could say this, but the form of the answer is in, written as one fraction. So you'd then have to go ahead and find the LCD here, x times the missing LCD factor minus 1. And so it's going to wind up coming right back up to that same form. All right, the question was, can we do this a second way? Okay, so the second way is to factor. Okay, so if you're going to solve this by factoring, you want to recognize you have two groups of factors here. The common base between those two groups is x. So we're going to take out the smallest power. The smallest power is the negative. So negative 2 thirds. That's the only common factor. So whatever's left is going to have the same form, one group minus another. And so if we subtract a negative 2 thirds from each of these powers, which is equivalent to adding the opposite, in this first group we get 3x to the first. In the second group we get everything cancels here, so it's just a 1. And then our denominator, we have 3x to the negative 2 thirds. Well, <coughs> when you're looking at this, x to the negative 2 thirds is common to these, so we can cancel those. You could also think of moving it down below. If you move it down below, it becomes x to the 2 thirds, which when you combine these has a value of 1, or has a value of 0, which gives you overall value of 1. And so your answer is still going to look as 3x minus 1 all over 3. Okay, there's still another way to approach this. I mean, it's, it's less common. I mean, it happens to work in this particular problem. But if you were to uh, rewrite each of these terms and rewrite it as the sum of terms, meaning we take our numerator <coughs> divided by our denominator, and then we subtract the next fraction term divided by the common denominator. <coughs> you could do it this way as well, and then look to cancel. So here, these cancel completely, leaving a one-third. Here, the threes cancel when we move this up above it becomes x to the two-thirds and so if you add those together one-third plus two-thirds gives us just x 
minus one third. <coughs> and then if you were rewriting this and combining it into one fraction, the LCD is three. So we take X times the missing LCD factor here, which was three, minus one times the missing LCD factor here, which does is nothing. You're still gonna get your answer the same. Okay, again, in these ones here, you'd still need to, you would need to go back into the original form to find domain restrictions to see that X can't equal zero. Uh, but regardless of which method you use, uh, you'd come out with the same answer, basically. 